There are many forms of enrichment for captive wild animals. Your box. <laughs> the trick is finding what they like, and it varies from species to species to individual of species. For instance, the leopards enjoy various scented objects and they tear things up. That's because leopards and the other big cats are more ambush predators that grapple and use their strength to overpower their prey. The lesser cats, like cheetahs and other smaller cats, are more specialized in how they hunt for their prey. And I find that correlates in how they like to be enriched. <laughs> Those that are harness trained enjoy enrichment walks outside of their enclosure. But I find most captive and tame predators hey, enjoy interaction hey, and buddy. company with their keepers. Hey, buddy, she's a toy. I call it human enrichment, and it clearly adds additional risk, but also greater reward. The critics are certainly out there, but I think it could be done safely if certain protocols are followed from the beginning. It's clearly more enriching for the both of us, rather than a stationary toy they quickly lose interest in. I personally wouldn't be concerned about human enrichment for any willing lesser cat, like a captive tamed cheetah. It's the bigger cats, like the tigers, lions, and most leopards I'd be worried about. Here's a cute human enrichment activity Saturn the Caracal enjoys doing. Alright, today it's time for episode of Walk the Caracal. Hey there. Caracals are so cool. I think that I, I have uh, determined they are my second favorite wildcat. Besides the uh, outside the cheetah, they're just so cool. They look they look so cool. Hey there, sweetie. This is Saturn, a female caracal with just one eye. She lost it due to glaucoma. Yeah, that's okay to run. I always try to reacquaint first before starting any activity. It's time for a walk inside the caracal enclosure. This one's missing an eye. Uh, she had glaucoma, some sort of um, disease in her eye. She, it had to be uh, extracted. So, but she's fine. She's fine with one eye. This is actually something one of the other volunteers pointed out to me, and I thought I'd give it a try. And sure enough, Saturn loves it. All of the caracals are harness trained and taken for walks in the Veld. This probably reminds Saturn of her walks outside. There she goes there. Got the idea now. Let's walk. I was going too fast. Though she's blind in her right eye, she uses her hearing to listen to my footsteps and know where I am. Nope, we're not going that way. Red light, green light. <laughs> Here's what happens when I stop. All right, so if I stop, what happens when I stop? Red light. Hey, where'd you go? You're supposed to walk. You're supposed to walk. See, she is following me. Isn't that cute? Green light. All right, let's go for a walk. I care to walk. 
gonna stop again. Say, <laughs> say, where'd you go? You gotta keep walking. You gotta keep walking. Let's catch up to me, walk. A little shuffling noise. Isn't <laughs> that cute? <laughs> so last go around. We went five laps before I got tired. Yeah, it was five laps, sweetie. Five laps. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. So that was really cool, uh, walking a caracal in a caracal's cage. So now when I intern or volunteer at Cheetah Experience, I walk Saturn inside her enclosure when I can't do it out. Hey, jump up, Gabriel. Hey, it's Timmy. Hi, buddy. Hello, hello. Yeah, hello, buddy. But for Gabriel, like many other captive animals, it's human enrichment that he enjoys the most. I'm a big buddy. I'm a good buddy. I never force the interaction with these animals, but make it their choice to do so. Most enjoy it and ends up enriching both of our lives. It's my discovery that captive wild animals who benefit from human enrichment live healthier, happier, and stress-free lives. I see the benefit for both of us, and that's why I support it. Then there's the argument about having wild captive animals in general. In Gabriel's case, he's serving as an ambassador to his species as a captive bred breeding cheetah. One day, I'd like to show Gabriel what true freedom means as we walk off lead inside of an open game range. If you like this video, Please share it and give the thumbs up. And consider joining my channel. Join my coalition.